Hey everyone! Sorry, rip headphones. But I'm Silver, and welcome back to my channel. Today, guys, we're going over Blazing Demonic Stealthy Stealth Dragon Sharanui Zekin, because that's the only way I can seem to pronounce it, and I can't find an actual pronunciation online. So, guys, I wanted to cover this yesterday, Sunday, but I couldn't because I had to cover Chrono Jet Dragon Z. And if you haven't seen that, go check it out. And real quick, before I go too much into this card and its wonderful art, I just want to take a second to thank you all for, you know, subscribing. Because of you guys, we've reached about 180 in subscribers, if not more. And I wanted to take an updated look at the channel analytics. So the video that went up on Saturday has broken 416 views as of Sunday night. And Chrono Jet Dragon Z has broken 135. And honestly, guys, I'm really happy about this overall. We've increased our views by over a thousand since last week, and we've gotten 18 new subscribers. So thank you all so much. I hope we can continue to grow the channel. Now, guys, back into Sharanui. So Sharanui is by far one of my favorite deck profiles, especially with the Dominate. And I wanted to start off by breaking down its card art and seeing things <coughs> and looking at things. So. I really like the Dominate style of the deck, and I think it's a good, good deck. It just needs some support. So, what I see first is that Sharanui's eye is glowing red now. I believe its original eye glowed like a blue color. I'm not entirely sure. I was going to actually see if I could locate the card. I am all over the place tonight. All right. I have my Sharanui deck right here, and I'm going to see how this one card could effectively change the deck entirely. So, overall, the Sherry Nui art for this card is really nice, like I said. I do really much enjoy it. And there's not too much to be said on it. Um, the eye is red compared to the original one being blue, so that's a nice shift in coloring. And, yeah, so the original card art on both is blue. I'm not going to pull it up because I'm on a limited time frame right now. But I'm looking at both the original Stride and the original Dominate Grade 3 for Sharanui. And yeah, both eyes are blue. There's not a lot of red in either or art. So this card is is sticking out with like, I feel like he's finally figured out the ancient meanings of Dominate. Because he's reading all this ancient text and <clears throat> I just like the card so far. The card art is pretty nice and is pretty amazing compared to the original. Not that the original isn't bad. So with that being said, I'm going to leave the card art alone and we're going to move on to its skills and how this will, the unofficial skills and how this will affect the deck. So it's Vanguard Auto is Soul Blast 1. At the beginning of the red phase, you may pay the cost. If you do, draw a card. All fighters choose a card from hand, from their hand and call it to regard. So this is going to allow you to force your opponent to call something to dominate so that you can dominate later. And this is going to give you a unit that you could potentially get. So you're getting two draws at the start of your turn for a Soul Blast, essentially, and a free dominated unit. Because if you don't know, this deck struggles against things like Pale Moon and things that retire itself, like <coughs> friggin' um, I'm trying to think of it, uh, Great Nature. So this deck has a lot there. And it has a Dominate Vanguard once per turn when this unit is placed on Vanguard or when your G unit strides, you may pay the cost. Choose up to one of any fighter's rear guards and it gets 2k power until end of turn. If you do, your opponent's if if you do if your opponent's rear guard was chosen, stand it, dominate it, and attack your opponent it and attack your opponent's other unit. So this is slightly different. This card <coughs> is different from its grade three. So with the original old Stealth Drag, uh, Demon Stealth Dragon Sharanui Orburu, um, Orburu, at the beginning of your ride phase, you may pay the, uh, you may choose a card from your opponent's drop zone, and your opponent calls that card to rear. At the end of your turn, retire it. So guys, there's a, a couple of things you need to know about these unit skills, <clears throat> is they work really well with each other. So if you if you don't understand what I mean, I'm gonna break it down for you to see what I mean. So if you ride either or Vanguard, so you could ride this one first and then later ride another one of your ride your other unit. Your other Orbor you could ride Orboro to get both effects off. 
so how does this work? Well, this one states at the beginning of your ride phase. So before you ride a card, you activate this effect. So you draw, you stand and draw, and then you get to activate this effect. Then you can ride. So you can force your opponent to call a card. And then you can ride your Demon Sh Stealth Dragon Sharanui Oberu and get its on stride skill off. Or you could do vice versa. You can force your opponent to call a unit from the drop zone. And then you can ride this uh, Blazing Demonic Stealth Dragon Sharanui Zuckin. And then use its on stride skill. And even better is you could also get its on vanguard skill. But that means you wouldn't get its on stride skill. Which doesn't affect the deck too badly either way. This is just for when it's placed and you, it's your first one. But that does make the card good and can be broken. So honestly, I do think it's an upgrade compared to the old Cherinui. Um, a downside is it's losing 2k power, but it's also when it's placed on Vanguard. So it does have a bit better, and you can target anything, whereas the old one is when your giant strides, choose one card from your opponent's rear guard, stand it, dominate it, and at the end of turn, until end of turn, it gets a 4k bonus in your, and it attacks your opponent's other unit. So this is a good card to a degree, because um, you can choose your own unit to get 2k power. So if you, so if your opponent had nothing in hand, then, and you couldn't call anything, you can choose your own unit and give it 2k power. Or you can choose your opponents and do that. Whereas the other one just strictly affects your opponent, but you also had guaranteed ways of calling out a Sharanui Oberu, or it had a guaranteed way of calling out. Either way, this card, both cards are very amazing at what they do, and I see decks running it. So, um, some decks might run. Um, I feel I'm getting the feeling that some decks will probably run three Orboros, three Blazing, and then probably like one or two others of the other grade three that you run, which is Remarkable Stealth Rogue Mor Morizuki, and it's Vanguard Rear. Choose one of your other. Rear guards rest it, choose one of your opponent's rear guards, and it gets 3k power until end of turn. If if he or she chooses, this unit gets 10k. So that's the other grade 3 that a lot of these decks seem to run is um like a handful of copies of a secondary grade 3. They also run Stealth uh Demon Stealth Rogue Kinesa Moru, which has a dominate effect of its own. So if you're not running a straight 8 split where four Orboro and four Blazing, I could definitely see you running three and three of each. Because again, both cards are acceptable and both cards have the Sharanui name. This is definitely going to replace decks that were running the old Sharanui Grade 3, the one that um, binded units. And that's sort of going to be good for the meta. I see this being a double rare or triple rare. It's probably going to be triple rare, but I'm hoping for double so it's a bit cheaper. Being the last one was a triple and had an SP. <clears throat> I'm also hoping that I'm. I was hoping they would reprint the critical trigger as in a lower rarity, but I don't see them doing that either. And honestly, this card is powerful. And um, I don't know if Black Moon is going to talk about it or not, but if he does, go check him out. Link is always in the description for my friends. They're awesome YouTubers, and I enjoy all their content. Crimson, my buddy Joe. Um, there are some updates coming. My buddy on gaming will be down there eventually. Um, I just haven't had a chance to really edit anything. But guys, if you did enjoy this video, please hit the like button. Leave a comment on what you want to see. Um, so there are going to be other videos or other video types. I'm planning on doing some buddy fight here in the future for the channel because I really want to expand what games and TCGs I cover. So I'm planning on releasing a buddy fight video later this week. I'm not sure when yet, but it will be coming out. So just keep an eye on it. If you're excited for buddy fight, that's fantastic. If you're not, please, I'm trying to build a good community here. Leave constructive criticism. Let me know what you guys want to see more of. I also have a Fortnite video coming out soon. I have asked my buddy to edit it because I'm not the best editor. And I don't know when a, really, when a good moment is and when a bad moment is. So as soon as that's done being edited and he can get that back over to me, I will be uploading that as well later this week. I have a deck profile. I know I keep saying it, but it will be a Fenrir deck profile coming out later this week. 
I will also be doing a deck profile what I think will be the next best for Sharanui and Chronojet as support is released. But honestly, I do, I'm do. i already going to be adding four of these Blazing Sharanui's into my deck. Because my deck is pretty strong. It's um actually completely of what the standard build is. It minus a handful of grade fours that you use in the deck. But I don't see that as much of a problem as some people probably do. But yeah, um, honestly guys, thank you so much. This month has been turning out pretty amazing. We've been gaining steady subscribers every day. We've been, we've also been gaining views. Um, again, if I'm reaching out to you on other social medias, let me know. I will make sure to follow you on Tumblr, follow you on Twitter if I can at the time. I can't always. Um, I will try to subscribe to as many other YouTube channels as I can as well. But I, I can only do so much in a day, especially when I work eight hours. And as of right now, as you guys are watching this, I'm probably at work very tired because I had to record this at 10 o'clock at night and then go to bed so I can be at work for nine. So I'm going to stop rambling. Honestly, guys, thank you so much for this month. And please, let's continue to grow as a community. And I'll see you all next time. Until then, peace.